According to the United Nations Children Organization, UNICEF, children have their rights denied every day as they continue to experience challenges, the issues ranging from diseases, war, poverty and domestic challenges, among others. While highlighting the increased enrollment of children in schools, the Cabinet Secretary, Ambassador Amina Mohammed, stated that the government is focusing on early childhood education, which forms the basis of the future development. We are aware that early learning is a decisive factor in influencing later educational outcomes and successes in life. We are therefore paying particular attention to early childhood education in our country. Our sites are trained on achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, number 4.2 targets, which seeks, which seeks to ensure that by 2030, all boys and girls have access to quality early childhood education and development, care, and pre-primary education so that they're ready for primary education. Our policy for ECD is already in place, and I'm pleased to share with you that the ECD subsector in the country has grown tremendously. For With the increase in the transition rate from primary to secondary schools, the CES urged parents to utilize the efforts of the government to ensure that all children go to school for them to be equipped with skills to conquer the future. I call upon all parents in our country to take advantage of the government's efforts to ensure their children go to school. No fees should be levied on any child and there should be no excuse for not taking our children to school. She went on to state the reasons why unemployment rate is on the rise in the region and pointed out what the ministry is doing to deal with the problem. At the ministry, therefore, we are responding to this challenge through the program of technical and vocational training. The aim of this program is to equip the youth with practical skills, which will enable them to either access gainful employment or otherwise venture into self-employment as engineers, technologists, technicians, and craftsmen. There is need for concerted efforts in the world towards ensuring that the rights of every child are protected. After all, they are the future. Reporting for Brown Plus TV Business News, I am Daisy Ombua. How many can catch as many as possible? Thank you so much, guys.